Can the Viver welding positioner help you make welds that look like a pro? Well, I got one in, let's open it up, put it to work and find out. Let's go. Beaver sent me this. I actually reached out to them. It's like, hey, I really want one of these machines. Where can we work out? So they did hook me up with a code. So if you do happen to buy one of these, know that it does kick a commission my way. However, I really want to test this out, see how much better it will make, or at least aid in my welding, making this new manifold. So let's open the thing up. that way. I wonder if there's any assembly involved with this. Let's see what is all included. Take it these are some tools here. Yep. Little tools to tighten the jaws. Then the meat and potatoes. Okay, so here we go. I have no idea what I'm looking at here. Ooh, thing is nice and greasy. We'll see how this all works with everything. See what these instructions say. It is foot switch activated, so we've got a little foot switch here. We plug everything in. Test it out. See how that works out. We'll go ahead and plug this thing in. Turn this thing around real quick. We have the on and off switch here, and then this is direction, we, so you're able to reverse the direction. And then we've got a speed control a lamp. This is an emergency on and off. It's our foot switch, power. And then this is the ground strap that will go to your welding table up here or your turntable. So let's turn it on because it looks like the emergency brake is hit there. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> Let's see how slow we can get this thing. Boy, we can really get it chooching. Or we can slow it down. Let's see if we can reverse the direction. Power off. Power on. So we can make this thing go down to a crawl. I'll hold a little foot switch down. You can see that we have it at a crawl, which is pretty much where I'll be using it with welding. Not sure how fast I, we'll have to test all that stuff out. But one of the other cool things about this gadget, is there are these, you can rotate this table and put it straight up and down or looks like it'll go a little bit past 90 but we can put it at 90 when we're mounting something here weld it let's uh just test fit a put a fitting on here real quick see how this works out but let's say i wanted to weld this fitting onto a piece of pipe you just stick that in there there we go. We use both of these to tighten this thing up. Now it's nice and secure in there. We can put our piece of pipe on there, weld it at whatever speed we want to. We'll keep this thing pretty slow while we're welding. And
one, two, we could tack it up, weld it, have your torch, and then weld away. And this does look like where we would set our ground strap for a little turntable here. But let's do a real world test. Let's go ahead and do some test welds. Get some practice in, let's go. All right, we've got this thing back purging. Let's go ahead and give this thing a try. Not quite sure what settings I need, but give it a whirl. and see how we did it is helpful I'm not the best of welders obviously but I was able to completely weld this up without stopping went all the way around looks like I could adjust my gas a little bit I'm gonna try a smaller cup size and one of the cool things is we can take this head off of this table. I'm going to use a clamp to clamp this up so that way I can weld these as well using this turntable. So let's go ahead and switch this out. All right, we're all set up here. Let's see if we can do a little bit better of a job. Expect that I won't be able to go all the way around due to some of these obstacles. But we'll give it a shot though. I'm gonna try and get a comfortable spot to get my speed down how I want it. All right, so let's go to town on this thing. know what you think down in the comments I'm by no means named dime stack Matt <laughs> but it definitely helps a noob like myself that's not I don't do this all the time there's some good spots and there's some spots that eh. But, this is welded out fully. In other words, we got some nice penetration. Even though I'm not a dime stacking kind of guy. We're definitely getting the job done. And that's all that really matters when it comes to this stuff. And I'm having fun with it too. I enjoy doing this kind of stuff. So one of the things I've found with using this turntable is I think it works better for myself if I just weld it out until I can reach, advance the table to a point where I can reach, and then go back and continue to finish welding. So I'm going to continue to use that method. So. Wish me luck. I'm gonna need it. <laughs> All right, let's start here. Got a nice little gap there to fill. So we'll start on at a point where it's nice and butted up. Let's get after it. Next joint. All right, let's keep pushing. Got my tungsten all sharpened up. Can't make something happen here.
So in conclusion, does the Viver turntable or welding positioner make you a professional welder or a better welder? No, only time will make you a better welder. However, it did make it a lot easier for me to position my welds in the piece that I'm welding on so that way it's comfortable for me to weld. It did cut down on time. And I do think it's a very beneficial tool to have in the garage if you're a hobbyist like myself or even a professional, you wanted to make turbo manifolds for profession or fabricate, it definitely would come in handy. And it's a very affordable option compared to some of the other tools out on the market. So that's something to consider. Don't forget, I do have a link down in the description with a code to get 5% off any Viver products, whether it's the welding positioner, you can check out everything they have to offer. They have a lot of cool, affordable tools. If you'd like this content, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe if you have not subscribed and we'll see you in the next one. Oh, and real quick before I go, in the next video, we'll be fully welding out the turbo manifold for the 1.8 cruise. So we'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Wait, you